to the Golden Path of the Runes. I'm your host tonight, Kathy Lewis, from the Golden Pathways and from Wildfire Haven. This is episode 83, and we're broadcasting live tonight from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. As you can see, we're going to be doing my singing bowls tonight. Um, we are going to be working on the solar plexus, and um, we just had a partial solar eclipse, so we're in, in the middle of eclipse season. So things are coming to an end and new beginnings, and there's tons of energy going on. Um, this uh, new moon happened in Aries, and Aries is always about new beginnings. But we're also now entering Taurus, so it's going to help us be a little more grounded and stable and feel secure. Um, we're also entering Mercury retrograde, which for me just kind of means take it a little slower, be a little more careful, look at the big picture, turn inward a little bit if you feel um, angry or upset or frustrated about things. Turn inward and see what that shadow work maybe can be being done. Hi, Faye. Hi, Kat. Nice to see you guys tonight. Um, so... Uh, I just want to mention also my cookies, which I got all this stuff here tonight. These are my blessed biscuits. These are my One Joe, my heart chakra, and you can get them on uh, www.wildfirehaven.com. I have all of my sessions on there, and I am doing a special. Right now, I'm doing an energetic alignment on Zoom. It will be a group. And it is Tuesday night, April 25th, this coming up Tuesday, for only $44 at 7 p.m. So if you haven't signed up, please sign up. It's an amazing value. Um, you can look and see all the benefits that you get from having your chakras aligned and having energetic alignment. And it's just amazing. I also have my subscription boxes that are a three-month subscription that contain, uh, you get one of my sessions included with it. It's a $300 value for $135. And um, I just wanted to let you guys know about that. You get three months worth of two uh, boxes of cookies each month. And then you also get a crystal or a gift that I will send you. And you will get a rune reading um, each of the three months. And you will also get a session with me. Um, and also have a membership. It's Going With The Flow, uh, Open To The Divine, and it's just an amazing membership that I have, and we do blessings every week. We do a monthly session, and it's only $33 a month. That is going to be going up, so I just wanted you guys to jump on that if you are interested. Hi, Lizzie. Oh, good. I'm glad you're feeling better. It's been it's been tough. It's been a lot of energetic things going on, and so we're going to work on that tonight. I'm going to go ahead and shake my rattle before we get started. Bring lots of sound energy in tonight, and I am using my new sound system. Can you guys hear me okay? Let me know. Um, I'm also going to pull a room before we get started, and then we're going to go ahead and call in our quarters. Let's set uh, the tone of our Tonight we are going to be having need, uh, of course you can't see that, I'm looking over here for the camera, and need is all about having our needs met. These are hematite runes and we are connected and con um, totally connected with Mother Earth through the hematite, totally connected with Mother Earth through all of our needs being met. Mother Earth is protection stability, strength, love, abundance of all types. Um, we can do some deep breathing to stay connected with her. We can go out in our bare feet and do earthing. We can um, f work in the ground and plant flowers, being out in nature. There's tons of way to connect with Mother Earth. So just, um, it's a really great way to connect, and it's one of my uh, benefits of doing my energetic alignments is a great connection and drawing on that protection energy of Mother Earth. So let's go ahead and call in the North and the Earth and the beautiful energy of Mother Earth for protection, stability, and strength and all of her abundance. Let's call on the beautiful buffalo energy and the white buffalo mother 
and for the greens and the browns and the energy of growth and strength and stability and the archangel Uriel let's turn to the east in the air and the energy of yellow and new beginnings and this is all about our spiritual self the north is all about our physical self um, the east is going to contain the ability for us to see the big picture mercury retrograde that's a great thing to have on our side uh, the archangel Raphael, uh, the, the beautiful triple moon goddess Hecate, and we're going to bring in healing and uh, pure discernment to help us to clarify and understand the things that we do want in our lives. To the south and the fire, and this is all about our mental energy and the beautiful wolf energy, and we call the eagle from the east. I don't know if I said that or not and call the wolf from the south and call the archangel Michael is a great protector strength and help us to let go of things that are no longer serving us and call on that great grandmother wolf she's a great protective energy to have in our lives and let's call to the and that's all about the mental self and to the uh, west in the water and the beautiful energy of the archangel Gabriel and bring the energy of the bear and beautiful water and the beautiful blue and um, healing, uh, healing our emotions and bringing that energy in. And that's our circle. And within our circle, we have all this amazing energy, the collective. We can go ahead tonight and call on anyone we want to call to our circle tonight because we're going to be doing these singing bowls. Any ascended masters, guides, uh, spirit guides, uh, benevolent ancestors on the other side or anybody you want to call in even on this side just to get the energetic benefits of the singing bowls and they are amazing all right guys so um, we're going to go ahead and do a little chakra work and then as we work up our chakras we're going to bring in the sound and so let's go ahead and we're going to start with our beautiful i can hear these buzzing already Let's go ahead and go down right to our root chakra. And we're going to call in that energy of Mother Earth. We're going to go down, down, down to Mother Earth. The whole way down to her beautiful crystalline energy. And talking about bringing in the energy of the crystalline into our body. Our bodies are becoming more and more crystalline. And so we are um, wanting different types of sleep, different kinds of energies in our lives, different kinds of food. Um, certain people were not to able to tolerate things like we were able to before because we are becoming more sensitive and connected with the earth. And so we're going to get a little bit more um, picky and a little bit more, I don't want to call it picky, but a little bit more um, choosy about what we want in our lives and what we want to have in our bodies and how we treat our bodies um, they're beautiful temples um, of amazing energy and love and they connect us to the earth and they hold their vessel for our spirit the amount of our spirit that can fit into this vessel and it's a beautiful learning and growing energy and our bodies are meant to be like treated like a temple to be fueled with good things to be treated well to have lots of rest and to not walk around in stress and anxiety and so we're going to just call in mother earth and we're going to leave behind any frustration stress anxiety worry and we're going to stay very mindful in the moment right now because right now we are just connected with and bonding with our beautiful Mother Earth. And you can just feel that energy, her beautiful crystalline energy in our 13th chakra that we share with her. And let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our root chakra, the whole way up to our feet, right up into our root chakra, and allow ourselves to feel that amazing energy. Open up that beautiful lotus flower and allow ourselves to feel no more stuck energy in our root chakra. We're going to put the rune of need, which we pulled for our group uh, rune tonight. And that's amazingly cool. That's great energy for the root. And we're going to go ahead and put Feo, the um, rune of 
about prosperity and connection with the earth. It's all about abundance. It actually means cattle, but in the old times, cattle was the sign of wealth. And so we are drawing on that energy and connection with the uh, flora and fauna of the earth and the energy of connection with the cattle to bring us the abundance of Mother Earth. sacral chakra and this is all about connecting in with our passions and creativity and allowing ourselves to be um, sensual and sexual and just connected in with our cauldron of manifestation and this brings us the energy of manifestation and healing cords. So we're going to go ahead and just build that inner beautiful energetic cord around that chakra and feel that amazing energy in our sacral chakra and call in the ability to manifest focus on tonight. I'm going to move over just a little bit so I can reach the rest of these bowls. And we're going to go ahead and open up that beautiful yellow lotus flower. And we're going to feel that amazing records of those cathedrals, citrines, and we're going to see that just coming out of our solar plexus and expanding out the whole way around all of our auric fields and all of our energetic energies and all of our meridians to keep us protected, allowing the good energy and keep out any of the bad energies that we are deflecting away, send back to sender, calling on Mother Earth to protect us and bring that energy in and just visualize that beautiful citrine energy just surrounding us and calling in the power of the Akashic Records, the knowledge of all the things that for us that have been and will be and feel that amazing yellow energy of strength and confidence. We're going to put the rune of Eol the Elk on there and feel that amazing energy. so connected. Let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our heart chakra. We're going to go ahead and put the energy of beautiful green expansive astral plane. We are protected now from that citrine sphere that we had around ourselves. And we're going to go ahead and put the rune of Gifu, and the, which is the gift, and Wonjo, which is all about joy and allow ourselves to stay in this moment in this joyful energy 
that amazing energy just opening up our throat chakra. And we're going to go ahead and bring in that energy from the front to the back. to bring them to manifestation in our sacral chakra. And that is the chakra we're focusing on tonight. And let's go ahead and bring that energy right up into our third eye. And I'm going to go ahead and bring in the energy of open up that lotus flower, that beautiful indigo lotus flower. And we're going to bring the energy of Lagaz, which is the rune of intuition, the rune of water. And open up that third eye chakra. And we're going to go ahead and bring in the energy of this amazing uh, infinity symbol, which is the energy of the collective and being in a collaboration. And within our circle, with all the energies we've brought in, all the beautiful spirit gods and energies here. We are in a collective energy and we are raising our vibration and frequency with this beautiful singing bowl energy, clearing out our chakras and bringing us beauty, strength, and love. Feel that connection of the energy from Mother Earth. We see the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and we're going to take that right up into our crown chakra and bring that energy in open up that crown chakra that's one of our vertical chakras that connects us in with the divine and we're going to open up that beautiful purple or I'm sorry purple and violet lotus flower and bring that energy in and bring that vibration of that chakra right up. We're going to do Daeg, the dawn of the new day. And Ing is the beautiful energy of communication with the uh, angels. And we're going to feel that amazing energy. chakras and down our back. Breathe in. All oh, that beautiful energy down our back. And I'm going to go ahead and just put in a couple of um, energetic acupuncture right here in our hands. These two points and the two points on our feet. And they'll, there's no pain with them, but they will help you to open up your meridians to see, receive these energetic um, and help yourself to tap into your own uh, energetic healing, um, facilitating that energy to come in. Let's go ahead and go right up into our soul star chakra. And that's the energy of letting go and allowing ourselves to connect in with the divine energies. It's amazingly and powerful chakra. And then let's go up one more level up to our higher self. And feel our heart chakra just connecting in with our higher self. And we feel the appreciation and thanks of our higher self allowing us to connect in and be um, on our soul path, receiving messages, um, just feeling that total energetic love of the universe and source divine energies and understanding and great gratitude and thankfulness for all of the guidance and help that we get. You're watching The Golden Path of the Runes. This is episode 83. I'm your host tonight, Kathy Lewis. Please like and share. Tell your friends. 
We're doing some chakra clearing with these beautiful sound energies tonight with the, the amazing singing bowls. These have the chakra colors and are attuned to each different chakra. And um, I hope you all are having a wonderful time tonight. Hi, Jamie. Nice to see you. And um, we're going to go ahead and um, go up one more level past all that divine and beautiful bright white light energy and connect in with the divine masculine, the source of all that is. And feel that energy just helping us to climb the whole way up and connect our heart chakra right in with that. with our chakras inside of us and bring in that healing energy. We're going to bring that energy the whole way down, down, right in through our crown chakra and feel that divine masculine and feminine just having a beautiful dance inside our body. We're going to start at the top with our crown chakra, bring in that amazing energy, allow us to be connected and open and seeing, bring that into our third eye and allow us to understand and process with discernment, bring that into our throat chakra and allow us to be able to communicate with grace and ease and energies that we need to share, help us with discernment and
causing any problems or facilitating any negative energies in our bodies the whole way down to Mother Earth. We are grounded, we are protected, we are secure, we are loved. We are powerful, we are the divine, we are the source. Visualize those roots coming out of the bottom of your feet, the whole way down into Mother Earth. And visualize a beautiful park bench. We're just going to sit on that park bench and we're going to see that beautiful heart chakra of Mother Earth right in front of us. And we're just going to connect in and tap into that beautiful energy and ground ourselves. And processing all that amazing energy and love. And we're going to call on the angel Metatron and call in that Merkaba energy and just surround ourselves completely with the Merkaba. Feel that grounded and connected self and call upon our higher self to just come and join us within our body, within that amazing energy of all of our cleared out chakras, our open meridians. Those beautiful energetic acupuncture points are open and allow us to feel that energy of connection and love. And the beautiful heart chakra of Mother Earth connected into our heart chakra. And an amazing pink energy of love and strength. And we are grounded, we are connected. And we're going to bring that energy right back up, right into our root chakra. And we are back in our bodies, grounded and connected. And all of our chakras are spinning at the perfect rate, the perfect energy. I'm grateful for all the healing energies that we are holding space for to call upon our quantum selves, our quantum energetic selves to bring healing to our bodies. Feel nice and grounded now, connected. Feel all those beautiful chakra energies. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up our circle. Thank you all for coming. This is the Golden Path of the Runes, episode 83. Special edition with our beautiful singing bowls. I love these chakra singing bowls. They are amazingly cool. I love playing them. I've been playing singing bowls for many, many years. I have a beautiful Tibetan brass singing bowl that I travel with. And these beautiful singing bowls have come into my possession in the past year or two ago. And I just love them. They're amazing energy. I love sharing the healing with you guys, and I hope you feel as fantastic as I do. I was going to leave the drape open. I'm like, oh, you can see the beautiful dogwood tree out there blooming, but I realized by the time I came on, it's pitch black out there, and you can't see anything but night. So, <coughs> so I shut the drape. And I am selling custom rooms on my website now. If you guys want to set a custom rooms, I have someone here that I am getting them out. They are finished. 
Thank you. Super tingly, right? It feels very, very good. I am super duper jazzed. Thank you so much, guys. I'm so glad you guys came. So we're going to go ahead and open up our circle. It's open but never broken. And we're going to go ahead and call to the west in the water and the beautiful energies of the Archangel Gabriel, the bringer of messages. And we're going to go ahead and thank the bear and all that beautiful water energy. And let's just call in that magical ocean energy and have a special feeling of gratitude in our heart and our throat for the reciprocation of all the things that ripple out into the universe for us and all that beauty and strength. Thank you for bringing that and holding space for us to have emotional healing. To the south and the fire and the beautiful energies of the Archangel Michael and um, the Grandmother Wolf and the wolf energy and the color red and fire and bringing that energy in. Thank you, thank you for all of that amazing healing. Let's go to the east in the air and thank the uh, Archangel Raphael, the healer, and the beautiful Triple Moon Goddess Hecate and the eagle energy. Thank you for bringing us the insight and the ability to see the big picture, especially during these times of the um, introspection and sometimes miscommunication. Um, so allow ourselves to reflect on and understand our accountability and our um, part in the energetic play at hand and allow us to use these energies to grow and to move forward and not feel um, fear, shame, guilt, embarrassment, or any of those low vibing energies, but feel freedom and sovereignty in our lives. And to the north and the earth and the powerful energy of the Archangel, Uriel and Gaia Mother Earth and the beautiful white Buffalo Mother and the Buffalo energy and the connection and protection of Mother Earth as she brings to us. And thank you, thank you, thank you all for coming. Beautiful. Your cat loved it. Aw, that is so sweet. She kept meowing. Yeah, the animals love the energy. It's really cool how they connect in with it. And um, so let's go ahead. Our circle's open, beautifuls. Our collective energy, but never broken. And we're going to go ahead and lift the Merkaba up that we brought in from Metatron. And we're going to just feel that amazing energy still surrounding us of this beautiful citrine cathedral crystals. And allow ourselves to feel that amazing energy of connection and love. And thank you all for coming tonight. Um, please check out wildfirehaven.com, my website. I have my daily rune meditation on there every day. I have all of my events that I'm going to be attending live on my schedule. I have all the reasons that the Wildfire Haven exists, including the Golden Pathway and Blessed Biscuits. You can buy my biscuits or any of my services. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And it's just been a wonderful joy spending time with you guys this evening. And thank you all for coming and have a wonderful, blessed weekend and blessed be. See you on the flip.